devil is so wicked. The devil is crazy. Like he was telling me, I cannot do this. I cannot do that. I cannot do this. Uh -uh. But God came to my rescue. God said, Ty, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Like God rescued me from the from the voice of the devil. Like he was saying so many things. I was believing his lies. I'm so happy about God. I'm so happy I know God. Like there's nothing like knowing God. Seriously, there's nothing like knowing God. God is sweet. Like God rescued me from the hands of the devil. Like when I was in school, he was telling me, you cannot pass this class. You cannot do this. You cannot. And me, I was believing him. I was believing, I'm like, I didn't know I wasn't believing the devil until God revealed it to me that I was believing the devil. I was like, ah, ah, ah. But you know what? God came to my rescue. You know why it's good to read the Bible every day? Like I didn't, like I was reading the Bible every day, reading the Bible every day, reading the Bible every day. You know, like normal thing, quiet time, everything, but suddenly, suddenly, God changed my thinking. God said nothing is impossible for him. God strengthened me. God changed my perspective. And God made me to believe that. You know, it's wanting to know that, yes, you can do all things. Only thing to get a revelation that you can really do all things with God. And God started helping me in my school. He started helping me to excel. He started helping me. Like, I, can't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, God started giving me ideas. You know, I've never experienced God in this in this manner before. Like I just know God from like you know this um, oh yeah God said for trouble blah blah blah. But like in a in a different way that like, hearing from Him, knowing how you know like hearing for Him directly and teaching me how to excel in school, excel in my studies. When teacher is like scaring us, you know those that take my class they fail. They tell us in the beginning that God, those that take my class they end up failing. But God said, Ty, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. We pass because I am with you. I mean, my perspective changed. Then the devil came back. Tell you, you're gonna fail. I said, devil, you don't know me. Oh. I'm a different person. Like, I am a different person right now. Your lies don't scare me. I don't care what you say. I believe what God tells me. I don't believe what you say. I don't believe what people say about me. I believe what God says about me. I mean, I was talking back to the devil. Back to back. Like Jesus was. Jesus is our role model. Back to back. I was giving the devil back. Get out of, I mean, with the word of God. Hey, the word of God is sweet though. Jesus is sweet. See, anybody that is telling you anything negative that is not in accordance with the word of God, oh my goodness. Tell them and say, no, that is not what God is saying about me. Amen? <laughs> so, God helped me. And that's why I'm a graduate today. Like, it's not a joke. Like, seriously, honestly, like, if not for God, I will not be here right now. I will not be here. I'm so happy I know God. Like for real, I'm so happy. It's giving me joy. It's giving me peace. It's helping me to live a life of purpose. It's helping me to fulfill my purpose. Like I did not know anything about purpose. I did not know anything about spiritual gifts. I did not know anything about that. But God told me and God gave me a revelation. We have spiritual gifts. We are blessed. And guess what? The only way you can believe the only way you can receive the spiritual gift is when you believe. So believe so you can receive. That's the formula for Bible. Matthew 21, 22. You have to believe before you can receive. So everything I do right now, I believe. Yes, I want that apartment. I believe. I want that house. I believe. I want that car. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe I can encourage people. I believe God can use me to raise the dead. I believe. I believe. I believe. And see the results of it. God is using me to encourage people. God is helping me to post videos. God is helping me not to be lazy. God is helping me to wake up every day, live for Him, helping me to do everything He wants me to do. Like, God is awesome. Don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise. Seriously, we need to live for God. You have a purpose. Sometimes you wonder, ah, ah, how, like, how is that even possible? What's my purpose? We have a purpose. All we need to do is ask God. And remember, God reveals bit by bit. So, for me, God is like revealing this small, small. So, God tells me what to do every day. Like, He tells me what to write. I mean, like, this is so amazing. Like, I can hear from God. I, I used to think that, oh, I need to, like, listen, um, hear from God from the pastor or anything. Like, God can speak to you. Like, God literally spoke to me on how to graduate, how to get you. Like, the devil did not want me to die. The devil did not want me to have peace of mind. God teaches me how to have peace of mind every day. 
So God, we need God. Honestly, we need God. We need God. We need to have a personal relationship with God. You know, I've been, I've been a Christian all my life. I, I was born into a Christian family, but I did not have a relationship with God. <laughs> I did not even understand that fact of relationship. I did not know about the Holy Spirit. I did not know anything about that. But God revealed it to me. And that's why he's telling me to reveal it to you. You can have a relationship with God. You can enjoy God. Don't be religious. Don't do all this religion thing. Oh, let me read my Bible because I'm a Christian. Don't do that. Read your Bible because you want to learn about God. You want to know about God. Like, do everything. That's why we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here to help us. The Holy Spirit is here to guide us. The Holy Spirit is here to, like, to lead us. So depend on the Holy Spirit. And as I've been depending on the Holy Spirit, I said, the Holy Spirit is my best friend. Because the Holy Spirit, I tell him everything. Things I cannot tell my parents, I cannot tell my friends, I cannot tell my sisters. I tell God everything, everything I'm going through. And you know what? He doesn't laugh at me. He helps me every step of the way. He helps me. He helps me. Like even when God revealed to me that he has called me to be a preacher, I was like, God, I can't talk. <laughs> I was like, God, I'm shy. Like, I can't do it. The God taught me one step at a time. This is how to do it. This is how to do it. I said, God, I'm not qualified. I didn't even know anything. God said that, hmm, with the Holy Spirit, you will receive power. Like, you, in fact, you will say what you know. And, like, you know when you say when God comes upon you, you will do what you cannot do. I've, hmm, I've seen it happen. Like, in fact, I'll be talking to someone. God will bring a Bible verse to my mind and you like, eh? Like seriously, this is not me. This is God. I mean, people are like changed, you know. This is God. This is not me. So, my point is that we need God. We need God. And all my videos, all those things, it's God that is actually speaking to me. God tells me what to write, and I just like, I write it. I like, you know, I tell you about it. You know, it's so. What I'm trying to say is that we can hear from God. Don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise. You can hear from God. Let God lead you. Let God direct you. And sometimes God will tell you some things that no one even, even <laughs> no one will believe that he's telling you. You know, like, you know, they'll say, oh, are you sure you're hearing from God? I'm like, the same God that helped me to be a graduate, the same God that saved me from trouble, the same God that saved me from car accident is the one talking to me and I'm going to listen to him. You know, like sometimes you have to just put your foot down and say, I'm going to do what God is telling me. Say, okay, look at this. God is telling something, or that person is telling something. And it can be anybody, it can be your family, it can be your friends, it can be, even be a pastor. He's telling something that God is not telling you. So, who are you going to listen to at the end of the day? You have to listen to God. Like me, I would rather listen to God. You know, everything. <clears throat> there was a day I did not listen to God. And at the end of the day, the person was not telling me, Why didn't you listen to God? You should have listened to God. <laughs> so. Oh my, let my lesson. So right now, anytime God tells me to do something, I will do it. Like, I won't even listen to anyone. I will do it because it's me and God at the end. If something goes wrong, I know who to go to. I'm like, God, okay, you told me to do it, so you have saved me. <laughs> and God literally saves me, you know? So praise God. Praise God. You are blessed. You are blessed. And don't let anyone remind you of your past sins. God has removed your past sins said we will remember our sins no more so do you know what that means it means that our past our present our future sins he will remember it no more immediately you sin against god ask him for forgiveness and he will forgive you and you are as good as new Rahab was a prostitute and god forgave her so no matter what you've done in the past god has forgiven you stop feeling guilty stop feeling ashamed God has forgiven you. And focus on the job isn't that to distract you. Focus on what God wants you to focus on. Focus on your purpose. You, you understand that like, sometimes when I focus on my purpose, the devil bring my past, bring so, so many things to distract me. And I tell the devil the word of God. No more. No more of your distraction. Because I'm a threat to him. We are a threat to the devil. That's why he's distracting us. <laughs> so <clears throat> Have a wonderful week, my family, and keep on listening to God. Keep on doing what God tells you to do. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>